SMF Street Traders, here's the Amazon.com chart. It's a weekly. You can see that it's got a three-week topping process. Uh, this is where the trend started back over here at that 120 area. And we've gone $50 up here to these uh, topping pattern right here. I'm going to show this pattern very carefully. That is a 50-week moving average, and I'm selling below the 50-week moving average. Now, granted that the name itself, Amazon, had 7.1 million shares. It closed at 165.68. The low was 165.05. We're going to be taking a look at how to trade these various strike prices. There's a 160 call, a 165 call, a 165 put, a 170 put, and a 170 call. And we're going to take a look at what this potential reversal has already started because we can't take out the top at price action. So therefore, it's in a range and it has been every time it hits these wicks, they come in and buy it. It hits the top pattern on these things. And basically what happens is that it keeps selling down and you have some buying but then you, you you're you're selling down so we're gonna take a look at one important issue we're gonna take a look here at the weekly prior weekly reversal or this bar right here that's this half bar that's the weekly that's the prior week this was last week and we're below it and we've undercut it and that's 167.82 is the upper end of that resistance, which would mean a lower high off of the 170. We're on the weekly overbought list at 94%. Give me a break. The bulls always do it to themselves. And what do they do? They walk this crap until they get so overbought. People get stuck in them and then they get taken down. 93%, 94%, 92%, 94%, now 91%. Overbought. Things go too far too quickly. They overshoot. They get overbought. They got to correct so that new buyers can get in. One thing about this year-end options expiration in November are the fund managers, and part of these moves up here is a big asset fund managers are still chasing performance. They're still chasing performance because they missed the move in September and October, and now they're chasing performance. That's why you have this up pattern, down pattern, up pattern, and then finally again distribution because you got those people keep trying to buy up here, and this, this is a monthly top pattern on Amazon, and Amazon is overbought. It needs to come down to 160, and here we'll be taking a look at this very strike price as well. So let's take a look at half of your monthly bar right there. That's at 159.50. That's where we made the top. This is the three week top. Basically, I'm closing below half of that bar. We are overbought. It's good for intraday short. Every time they go up on the open on the intraday level, we pointed it out all week and all last week is sell down, sell down. Short the high intraday and they come down. And it's been doing exactly what we said and the trades and the trades and the price action and everything prove itself. Okay, 17126, he runs it up, slide that bid down to 165. That's a good intraday short MMTs. That's the weekly chart. Now, let's talk about some of these uh contracts. Here's a 170 call that was up bloated up here at 759 a share it's making all-time lows it's not inflated this is inflated we're looking at the deflated areas during the options expiration so there's the 170 call let's take a look at the 165 call which is coming down to its lows it was inflated up here uh, unlike when you couldn't take the price action out here, MMTs, on the weekly chart, you were making the weekly highs in the option. And when this couldn't break higher, these couldn't go higher, and they are coming down right along with that distribution. They took a good haircut out of that weekly volume on these uh, call contracts. It's a 165 call that we'll be looking at. And I will give out the alarms off of the video.